Welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to dig deeper into the notes on the grand staff. We're going to also review some of what we've learned with music notation and add a few more note types. We'll perform our piece Ode to Joy as well as learn a new song. So let's get started with a quick review of some terms and symbols we learned in the last lesson. First off, we have the treble and bass clefs. We remember the treble clef is also called the G clef because it looks like a fancy letter G and the curl at the bottom circles around the G note on the stave. The bass clef is loosely shaped like an F and is also called the F clef. The two dots of the F clef are above and below the F note line on the stave. Now, if we look at the grand staff, we see there are five lines and four spaces each representing a note name. Notes that sit on the lower lines are lower in pitch, and notes that sit higher are higher in pitch. Each line in space has a different white key on the keyboard. Since we only have the letters A through G, the pattern of the note names repeat throughout the keyboard. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. As you learn the name of the notes on the staff, you'll be able to quickly orient yourself based on the G note of the treble clef or the F note of the bass clef. So those two notes are really what we want to make sure we know well when looking at the staff. Here's the G note on the second line of the treble stave. And here is the F note on the fourth line of the bass stave. 